we got them here. I'll tell you for championship wrestling. Hello again, everybody. This is Lance Russell and Dave Brown right along the ringside. We are really geared up and ready to go with eight big matches on the line today, Dave. Yeah, indeed. Got a bunch of action coming up here Boy. on championship wrestling. We will have in here Iron Mike Sharp in the opening single match of the day. Then later on, we'll be looking at Dutch Mantell. Eddie Gilbert will be teamed with uh, Lanny Poffo for tag team action today. Macho Man Randy Savage is here. Constant and Ashley will be in tag team action. We'll have the Batten Twins going against the Wild Hogs. That should be some yep. kind of match. Then a little bit later on, the exotic one, Adrian Street, will be in here. And we're also going to be taking a look at Coco Ware. Yeah, you'll be hearing about him. I'm looking forward to seeing that opening mount, as a matter of fact. Of course, the Dutchman coming back. Always good to see that tough yes, guy out of oil trough, Texas. We'll be seeing Mike Sharp and Tracy Smothers. Tracy, a real dandy young wrestler. Mm -hmm. He'll be in here going against the big Canadian in a moment. We're going to take time out. We'll be back with the first debate. Oh, wait. Yeah. I know. I told him he could come out here. Bring him on out. I'm sorry. Well, uh... Yeah. Yeah. I know. I, I told you that you could have a little time right here. I'm not familiar with the family. Run along all these names. Dutch Mandel and Gary Lawler and all these names. But what you don't mention is the intelligent one, the Tux Man is here, Tux Newman. Don't ever forget it. Tux Newman is here, obviously. Here he is. I thought you had some intelligence. You know, I've only been here just a couple of weeks. Now, my mission here as all these fans know, is a big one. And I thought it would take me, well, I thought it would take me maybe a month or two months, but you know, it's only taken me a very short time. And I'm very pleased, very pleased. You know, I've acquired the services of Randy, my man, Savage. Yeah. I, can't, I can't tell you how proud I am about this young lad because this man, without a doubt, will be the next Southern heavyweight wrestling champion. I am going to surprise everyone. I already have. But anytime and anywhere you see the Tux Man, expect the unexpected. I'm talking about Tennessee. I'm talking about Arkansas. I'm talking about Kentucky, Indiana. It doesn't matter where. Wherever the Tux Man is, that's where the unexpected is. And I guarantee you wrestling fans watching me this very second that anything will happen with Mira. Well, I would have to grant you that you have created some changes. There's no way, no way to get around that. You certainly, in the short period of time, have created some changes around here, Tuck. You talk very well. You know, you really do. I'm very, I might even take you to Hollywood, get you a contract, and put you in the movies. That's I like your style. Marvelous. As long as you recognize greatness, and that greatness is within me, not like these people, you know. They boo, they're not, you, you know, you see the way they're dressed and everything, but th that, they should be dressed when they come to the matches. But I'll tell you something, with my men out there doing what they do best, and that is listening to the Tux Man, we will rule the South. I don't say things idly. I don't boast, and I don't promise. I'm not like the ordinary manager that comes in and says, we gonna do this, and we gonna do that. I'm more intelligent than that. I will surprise each and every one of you out there every time you see me. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with my men. You make the changes. You made some surprises. I didn't say that we approved of all of the changes that you have well, made. Well, I don't care what you approve of and what you don't okay, approve of. Talk. What I'm going to do is straighten out wrestling here in the South. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. If that's your attitude about it, fine. We've got eight matches lined up, so if we can, let's proceed with it and get on to the first match. We'll see you, I'm sure, a little with bit With Iron later. Mike Sharp, right? That's My right. man, Iron Mike. Tell Iron him, tell Mike him. Coming up in just a moment. He'll be going against Tracy Smothers, and we'll be back with that action in just a moment. Christmas at this time of year? Why not? Don't laugh. It could happen to you at Memphis AMC Jeep Renault, your credit connection. If you've had trouble financing a new car, listen, bad credit, slow credit, no credit, but Credit Connection can help. Come to Memphis AMC Jeep Renault. Pick out the car you really want. The Credit Connection could help you. Remember, there's only one Credit Connection, and it's right here at Memphis AMC Jeep Renault, 3254 Elvis Presley. Give them a call. They can help. That Christmas number is 345-1115. Oh, what could he want? Unless he 
Over 1,000 items, all sale price for the do-it-yourselfer, like exterior latex house paint, just $4.94 a gallon at Home Crafters Warehouse, where you always pay less, guaranteed. One full 10-minute time limit match coming up here. Introducing, over on the right, from Springfield, Tennessee, a 223-pound Tracy Smothers. And going against him. A 275 pounds from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, Iron Mike Sharp. This match, one fall, 10 minute time limit. Sharp's manager, Tuck Newman, will be in his corner. Jerry Calhoun, the referee. Okay, bell time, and we're off and running. Tracy Smothers going against the much more experienced Iron Mike Sharp, and Tuck Newman out here in the corner of Mike Sharp. Tracy Smothers thrown back onto the deck by Iron Mike Sharp. Sharp, big and powerful. Not sure the word strong is strong enough. Powerful is better than sharp. Also, of course, with that controversial brace he wears on the uh, right arm. Mothers trying to take him down to the mat. Sharp reversed it on him and just threw him down to the canvas. Tracy Smothers. A face lock. Sharp. Picked him up and tossed him back across the ring. Smothers landed on his feet, though. Tracy with uh, with good size. Actually has a slight height advantage on Sharp. The weight advantage, though, is all Iron Mike. Look out. Right forearm by Mike Sharp. Across the back of the neck, he hammers Tracy Smothers down to the mat. You see uh, Tuck Newman walking around down by the ring apron. He's got a glimpse of him there. He's shouting encouragement to his man in the ring, Iron Mike Sharp. Look out, Sharp throwing Smothers through the ropes down onto the floor. There's Tracy, and there is Tuck Newman saying, uh, back into the ring. Sharp down onto the floor, picks him up, and rolls Smothers under the ropes into the ring. Tracy Smothers trying to get back to his feet. Mike Sharp right there. Head into the top turnbuckle. We're two minutes into the action here. Ten minutes the overall time limit is Iron Mike Sharp. Whoa! Smothers into the turnbuckle. Smothers moved out of the way as Sharp was going to come in to finish him off with his shoulder. Smothers, right fist. Another one. And Sharp back in his own corner. Mothers fire sharp across the way, but he went in there too quickly. Oh, and a cover might be it. One, two, and three. And once again, that brace on the right arm figures in the match. Iron Mike Sharp with a hand raised. Tracy Smothers still rolling around on the uh, on the mat here. But Sharp wins at 2 minutes 43 seconds, the time on the match. Okay, Sharp with too much experience. Big fella and uh, Smothers uh, coming along in good shape, but Mike just too big for him. We're going to take time out. We'll be back with more action in just a moment. Hey, what's the problem? Take it for a test drive. Really? Vroom, vroom. Sounds like the transmission. Same problem as your dad's. Can you fix it? Sure. 
we're, we're experts. We can fix any car. Foreign, too. At Amco, we care as much about people as we do transmissions. It's what we call double-A service, and it's why we fix more transmissions than anyone else. It's safe. You get double-A service at double-A MCO. What'll it be, ladies? Seven up. You must be from another planet. What makes you say that? Well, hasn't everyone on Earth heard that Sprite tastes better than seven up? Sprite. Yeah, it even won the taste test. The one where more people preferred that great lime and taste? Sprite. This civilization is more advanced than we thought. The way they taste that right. Off road on the range, where the deer and the quad runners play. The fun is outrageous, the good times contagious. When you're off road quad running all day. Suzuki has more ways to get you off-road on the range. Eight different quad runners from the kid-size LT50 to the quad racer. Some with electric start, pro suspension, even one with shaft drive. Off-road on the range, riding Suzuki's all day. Suzuki. Foremost in four-wheeling. Burger King breaks it to McDonald's. Gently. We're so sorry, we're so sorry. With golden eggs and melted cheese, sausage, bacon, or ham, beat the stuffing out of egg with muffins for best taste. Aren't you hungry for Burger King now? It looks like uh, the surprises never end. You've got additional talent coming in, I understand. Surprises! I love them. I love every one of them. I got so many of them that I just don't know how many I got. That's how many I got. And I'll tell you something. Here's a surprise for you fans. And I'm telling you, my PYT, they are absolutely fantastic. I'm talking about Norvell, Oxid, and Coco Ware. When you say, see, even, even these morons here recognize great talent. And that's the only thing that the great Tux Newman handles is great talent. Well, I think they're very aware of uh, Norvell, Austin, and Coco Ware. And uh, we had some words from the pair of the PYT the new acquisition of Tux Newman, Hollywood entrepreneur. Lots of money. There was lots of money there. They wanted lots of money. They got lots of money. You ought to take a look at these men. Let's do it. Lance Russell, Dave Brown, listen up. You hear that music? It means one thing. The pretty young things are on their way back to Memphis, Tennessee. That's right, baby. You know, we just like the Jackson. We've been on tour, baby. We've been to Louisiana. We whooped everything in Louisiana. We've been to Dallas, Texas. We whooped everything in Dallas, Texas. We've been down here in Tampa, Florida, and we've been whooping everything down here in Tampa, Florida. Now we're going back to Memphis, Tennessee to clean up the city. So, baby, get ready. Pick up the phone and call somebody because the pretty young things, baby, they're on their way back home, baby, to get down. Right, Novell? Exactly right. Woo! Mr. Stoller and Lance Russell and Dave Brown, all of y'all and all of y'all ladies, I know y'all been dying for us to come back. Well, we on our way, baby, and since we've been gone, I'm going to tell you one thing. I have created a monster. Y'all never should have let this man get away because that has told him the ropes, baby. We back. And we can't be had, and we coming back to Memphis, Tennessee, to get down, because it's our home you now. You know, Bell, exactly there's a right. team called the Fabulous Ones. There's a team called the Rock and Roll Express. There's a team called, we don't care what they call, but you know what? We're going to take care of business. So, Dave Brown, Lance Russell, if you guys think y'all can handle the pretty young thing, put a pair of wrestling tights on, baby, and take care of us, because, you know, we're kicking down Bad Street, baby. Exactly right. And we got an undefeated record, baby. We ain't been beat by nobody, and we don't intend to come home to get beat. So all you big bad dudes out there, who get ready, because here we come. And you know what, Jerry Lawler? If you want a piece of the action, all you got to do is sign your name on the dotted line, baby, because you're going down just like the rest of them. Be ready and be square, because the pretty young thing, baby, they're lying in color. So we'll see y'all in Memphis, Tennessee. All right, Lance, that's it. They're on their way. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Gordon. I think I uh, one will say one thing about it. They are talent. They can wrestle. They are bad. I don't like their attitude, and I don't know whether we're happy to see them come back here or not. 
You know what's happening right at this very moment? The fabs, I can hear them right now. Their knees are knocking, no. they're shaking, you know? They're afraid, the fabs. And I'm talking about the Dolly sisters, Stephanie and Stan Arena. Are you shaking, aren't okay, you? Okay, Todd. They're coming back. We got action. E -Y -T. We got action coming up. Let's go to the ring for our next bout. And here's the Dutchman. A one fall, 10 minute time limit match coming up. And introducing from parts unknown at 236 pounds, the Invader. Going against it. Welcome back from Oil Trough, Texas at 229 pounds. The Dutchman, Dutch Mantel. One fall, 10 minute time limit match. Jerry Calhoun, the referee. Okay, good to see the Dutchman back here with us. And bell time tells us we're underway as Dutch goes against the bigger invader. And Dutch with a side bear that pops the invader down on the deck in there. One thing about Dutch, he, he doesn't leave you any room to wonder about exactly what he thinks about. He'll let you know no uncertain terms. Boy, he will indeed. He is uh, some kind of batter. Always has been. I guess always been. Oh, what a shoulder he just laid on the invader. Dutch is one of these guys that uh, is also proud of the fact that he says, I earned the name Dirty Dutch, honestly. He can get that way if it's necessary. Any way you want it. That's the way Mantell can dish it out. Mantell working on the arm of the invader as referee Jerry Calhoun walked around checking to see whether the invader would like to give it up. No, sir. Whoa, he misses the right hand. Ducks down. Out from under it, not on the way. Quick. Nice move by Mantell. Dutch giving away quite a bit of size here. He's, uh, he's giving away some weight and uh, quite a bit of height, but he's got the invader down on the mat. It's going to be tougher to get a pin in that, uh, that position, though. Yeah, he is not where he can get shoulders down, and the invader slips over and gets underneath the rope. The referee breaks it up. And Dutch with the advantage at the moment. He's got that leg hurting. He tangles right straight in as the invader came right at him. Top wrist lock. Dutch uses it to take him over the shoulder and pops him down on the deck. Bars that arm, takes it to the side. Mantell hanging on with the arm bar. Wraps it around. Almost takes the invader off his feet. Pounding away as Dutch, very impressive in his returning debut here on Championship Wrestling. Dutch has been down in Florida, been wrestling in that tough Florida circuit. Well, he's back here today. Been in control so far the entire match, and we're about uh, we're about two and a half minutes in, and it's been all Dutch. He's worked mostly on the left arm of the Invader. Oh, not all Dutch anymore. Well, the Invader came in there with that right. When in doubt, go to that sensitive area, and he raked the eyes of Dutch and follows right in behind it. Mantel with the end of the turn buckles and Dutch out of the way. The Invader down on the deck. Couple of right hands, and Dutch has it all his way as he goes into a body slam. Puts the Invader down, hits the ropes, drops with that knee. Count of one, two, three, Mantel. Boy, I think the Invader just made him mad there, and boy, Mantel went to work on him. 3.16 was the time. Three minutes, 16 seconds, the Invader rolls out of the ring, defeated by the Dutchman, Dutch Mantel. Let's see if we can get him over here before he gets out of the studio. He's still got old Bessie or whatever it is, that big bull whip of the Dutchman. Congratulations on the win, and Dutch, good to see you back here, partner. Well, it's good to be back, and uh, you know, I missed the cold winter here and everything, but I missed all the people here. I missed being home, so I thought I'd suck it in. And, Bring it on back now. You got a few people around here that are new to me. They're new to some of the fans around here. But I don't like a guy who don't even know me to talk about me. I'm talking about the guy who's a blonde-headed guy I want to go. Oh, Tux Newman. Tux Newman. Now, he doesn't even know me. 
and already he's talking about me. And already I heard he got Savage with him. Yeah, can you he's believe? He's got the PYT. Yep, yep. He's got Mike Sharp, and he's gathered him in like a little uh, army. Yep. But let me say one thing. I've always worked by myself, never asked nobody for nothing, wanted people to stay out of my business. But Tux Newman, if you want to stand in my way of getting what I want, and I got a few goals too, like everybody else. Tux Newman, if you want to stand in my way, then you're backing up, Jack, because I will go over you and I'll go through all your men. I don't care if it's Savage, I don't care if it's the BYT or Mike Sharp, whoever he wants to put against me. Mr. Newman, rest assured of one thing. Dutch man tell the Dutchman, I'm back in my old form now, and I will be ready. Mark my words, Lance. You got your friend with you. And let me say another thing. I've told the people before, and I'll tell them again, when it always gets too hot and too heavy to handle, I got old shoe baby right here with me to back up whatever I say. If anybody wants to jump on me from the back, all I got to do is lay my hands on shoe baby, and they will be hitting the Ankle Express and getting out of town. I okay, go. Dutch, good to see you. Congratulations again on the win. We'll take time. I'll be back in just one moment. of millions. The nicest things still happen between just two people. Oh, Tim! Oh, son of a hey. God, hey. How are you? And when you brush your breath with dentine, being together is nicer for everyone. You're really here. Because not even mouthwash can freshen your breath better than when you're chewing lively, long-lasting dentine. When the whole wide world for you, now down to just two Brush your breath with Yes, sir, we can install your new carburetor for just $280. Yes, sir, I can slap a rebuilt carb on that old boy for 160 bucks. Now there's a new way to cure your carburetor problems. Bring them to the specialists at Carburetor Clinic. All we do is carburetors. We'll completely rebuild your carburetor with brand new parts for as low as $69.95. While you watch, and our work is guaranteed. Carburetor Clinic, the carburetor specialists. Do your chicken nuggets seem to run out of flavor when you run out of sauce? Then maybe you should... New Kentucky Nuggets from Kentucky Fried Chicken. The only chicken nuggets with the Colonel's secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. For a taste so good, you're gonna love them. With sauce. Or even without. New Kentucky Nuggets. Flavor that never runs out. Go your nuggets, we do chicken right. When you've got a headstrong boss, sometimes you need some headstrong relief. Goody's Extra Strength Tablet. When you've got a headstrong teenage daughter, sometimes you need some headstrong relief. Goody's Extra Strength Tablet. No matter what you've tried for a headache, try Goody's Extra Strength Tablets. With aspirin and acetaminophen, the two pain relievers doctors recommend most. What a relief. Headstrong relief. Goody's Extra Strength Tablets for real headstrong relief. Okay, we're ready to go to the ring. David, we got an outstanding tag match coming up. Here we are. And we're ready with one fall, 10-minute time limit match. Total weight of 465 pounds from Japan, Tojo Yamamoto. His partner from Memphis, Tennessee, David Haskins. And going against him at a total of 451 pounds from St. John's, New Brunswick, Canada, Lanny Poffo. And his partner from Lexington, Tennessee, Hot Stuff, Eddie Gilbert. This match, one fall, 10-minute time limit. Jerry Calhoun, the referee. Okay, the shirts and jackets come off, and we're about ready to engage in battle up there. I am uh, a little surprised at the pairing of one of the teams. That's Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert and Lanny Popo. To be perfectly honest with you, Tux Newman uh, got Randy Savage, but he's wild and crazy and is liable to do anything anyhow. I expected a little bit more out of Lanny, but I guess that brother stuff has uh, gotten him. He's associating with Newman and he's partnering with Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. I know it is a bit of an unusual pairing, but uh, my golly, that's what we have here. Haskins against Eddie Gilbert in there at the moment. Hot Stuff right behind the back with the Haskins arm. Haskins reverses him on it. Haskins in a good hammer and Eddie turns it uh, on tables on him and runs it around. We've got youth and experience over there. Yamamoto and the larger David Haskins paired together against Hot Stuff and 
and Lanny Popo, referee Jerry Calhoun at one fall, 10 minute time limit. A lot of action. We've got uh, this and five other, make it six other bouts still to go. We're gonna try to get them all in today. I don't know whether we'll have a chance or not. We'll just see how the time goes. Hold it. The referee says on the ropes, let's back him out of there. Haskins comes back off of Lanny Popo. Alfo known for the gymnastics in the ring. He can really move in there. Haskins not giving him the opportunity so far. Boy, he put him in a side headlock and then dumped him down on the mat. Had the shoulders down. Popo bridges up. Got Look the shoulders. That. Yeah, there's one of those moves. Does a headstand to get out of the headlock. Comes back with a foot to the back of the head. Flip Haskins down. What a move. Count of one. Can't make it stick for three. But Popo showing some of his uh, ability to move. He had Haskins going there for a minute. Haskins still had enough strength to be able to break out of it before the referee could get to a count of three. Here's Tojo. He takes the tag from Haskins. Tojo with what has to be the most powerful chop ever in the wrestling ring. Years and years. There it is. Whoa. He hammered Popo and staggered him. Hey, Gilbert from around behind. Smack Tojo. Jojo had it going with those chops, and then Gilbert decided to break that up. Referee came right over and got on Gilbert, but the damage had been done. Hot stuff pounding away on Yamamoto. Jojo coming to Gilbert with a chop. That slowed him down. Gilbert back to the corner for the tag on Lanny Popo. Uh-oh, Gilbert holding Jojo up. A drop kick by Lanny Popo. Popo going after Tojo. Tojo over at the corner made the tag on Haskins. We're at two minutes, 45 seconds into the action. Lanny Popo, right and miss. Now a knee. Haskins on the mat before he can get back to his feet. Here's Eddie Gilbert after the tag. Hot stuff, taking over. Take him to the turnbuckle. Haskins bounced out of the, out of the corner. Right fist, boy, Gilbert really nailed him. Haskins reaching for the tag and gets it. Here's Tojo coming back in. Whoa! Straightened him up, Dave. I mean, laced him with that chop. Eddie was back close to the corner. He just reached and made the tag on Lanny Popo, and double teaming Tojo has worked better for them than anything else. That's what they're doing right here. You can see Gilbert out on the floor holding Tojo back on the rope. Tojo with a chop and then a quick tag on David Haskins. Young David Haskins, former college football player. Holding his own here against Eddie Gilbert and Lanny Popo. He's got Gilbert in there now. Eddie fires him into the rope. Shoulder butt. Nice blocking move. Oh. He ran into the knee. David Haskins down to the mat. Eddie Gilbert trying to take advantage of the opportunity. Fires him into the ropes after the tag on Lanny. Popo, backbreaker across the knee. Shoulders are down. Counts at two and three. And that's it. Four minutes, 12 seconds of action. It's hot stuff. Eddie Gilbert and Lanny Popo doing a victory backflip here. He sure did it right down there on the floor. He dumped Haskins right up on his shoulder when he put him on it. Got the one, two, three. Victory goes to the official winners, Eddie Gilbert and Lanny Popo. Always a welcome word when we uh, get an opportunity to hear or see the fabulous ones. And right now, let's take a listen to Stan Lane. You know, there's a new guy in this area, a new manager by the name of Tux Newman. And since he's been here, he's kind of stirred up a lot of trouble. Kind of reminds me of a, when you get a stick, you stick it down in a mud puddle and the water on top's clear. And it's mud below, but when you start stirring it up, you make the clear water dirty. And that's kind of what you've been doing, Tux. You've been taking a lot of wrestlers who weren't all that bad to start out with, and you've kind of stirred them up and made them dirty, made them evil. Let me tell you something. Steve and I both know what's going on. We've heard the rumors. We know that you're here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to get rid of the fabs. Well, let me tell you something, Tux, Tuxedo Man. Many guys have tried before you, and many have failed. Where's Jimmy Hart now? You know, when Jimmy Hart heard the fabs are coming back to town, he packed his little U-Haul trailer and he booked and he took off and we haven't seen him since. 
And where's Troy Graham and the interns? Well, they're gone too, because they tried to bite off a little more than they could chew. And I'm talking about biting the fabs. And when you bite us, brother, we bite back. We've gotten rid of a lot of refuse around here, and Tux Newman, you're no exception. Now, I know what happened the other night. I know that you got the Lenny Poffo and Randy Savage and all those guys so stirred up and so agitated, and you sent them to the ring to jump Jerry Lawler for no reason whatsoever. And that's why Steven Stammer there, because we don't take that. We're trying to clean this area up. We're going to do a little policing around here, a little, little garbage detail, if you will. We're going to get rid of some of the trash and some of the refuse and some of the sewer water that's been running through here. And I'm talking about you, Tux Newman. So get ready. And we're going to start Sunday afternoon at the Mid-South Coliseum. We've got Lanny Poffo and Eddie Gilbert. And guys, let me tell you something. We know you're hooked up with Tux Newman. He called us. He offered us all kinds of deals, diamond rings, money, cars. If we'd sign with him, we told him to go take a hike. And guys, you made a big mistake to sign with him. And you're going to see just how big a mistake it was Sunday when you step in the ring against Stan and Steve because we're going to do it. We're going to do it well in front of all the fans there in the Mid-South Coliseum, guys. You're going to go down, and then we're coming after you, Tux. <laughs> Yes, I'd like a hamburger with extra tomatoes, no pickle, no onion. Step aside. Uh, step aside. Step aside. Please, step aside. Step aside. Kindly step aside. Sir, a step aside. At Wendy's, you get your choice of fresh toppings without ever having to. Sir, step aside. Now, Wendy's is open for breakfast. Four kinds of omelets, special breakfast sandwiches, and more. Made to order only at Wendy's. Dear sir, you'll love this surf encounter. I knew camping wasn't for me, but the hike proved it. Oh well, I thought, I'll just brush off the dust and have a surf. It had to be fate, because out of nowhere came a huge backpack attached to the best-looking guy. Only Certs has a lively, fresh flavor and a glistening drop of red sun, so it's all you need to freshen your breath and keep it that way. Well, sir, looks like we're going camping more often. Certs and sugar-free Certs, just in case you're going to be face-to-face. Listen to this one. Brand new. Now. I need a new stereo. Now. Hello, Remco. Call Remco. You can rent to own a brand new Kenwood, Pioneer, or Sansui stereo component system today. At Remco, I can rent to own a brand new stereo? Yes, and that's a promise. Remco's affordable rental purchase plan makes it so easy, you won't even need credit. Hello, Remco. Hello. We'll deliver today. Don't take it out on your battery. Tune up for fast starts at Expert Tune. Your engine is computer analyzed and expertly tuned by certified mechanics you can talk to. A 30-minute guaranteed tune-up at Expert Tune costs less than a new battery. Expert Tune. For starters. Okay, we're going to be back in the ring here in just a moment. You'll see the Macho Man in action. But before we do, I want to get King out here. Jerry Lawler with crown and belt. That was a Lance, I got a couple of things I want to talk about. Uh, first of all, I just happen to be looking at, you know, a lot of people probably wonder exactly what this is you're always looking at here. It's a format to the show, and I would happen to be looking at one back there. And I saw here where the next match you got scheduled is Randy Savage against Billy Travis. Billy Travis, right. Well, now, I want you to know that I told everybody out here last week that Randy Savage was more than welcome to a title shot right here on TV, and now I want the match as bad as he does, so he's not going to be wrestling Billy Travis. He's going to be wrestling me right there in that ring. The, uh, the Southern Heavyweight bout has been rescheduled in the arena, and uh, so this is why the Savage Travis bout is scheduled here today. Well, I realize it's been rescheduled for the arena, but what I want, Lance, I don't want it to be in some five or 10,000 seat arena. I want it to be right here on television where all these hundreds of thousands of people can see it, people that can't get out of their houses. I want everybody to see I want to tell you why. I want to explain to you why I want this match now as bad as he does. I don't have to explain. I got a little piece of film I want to show you. Last week, 
Last week, you know, I had a title match right in Memphis, Tennessee for the World Heavyweight Championship against Nick Bockwinkle. Now, everybody knows how hard and how long I've struggled to reach this goal of winning the World Championship. And then this little blonde-headed fat freak, Tux Newman, is standing at ringside, and he helps Nick Bockwinkle to his feet and helps him win the match. That's not bad enough. Then when I get ready to get my hands on Tux Newman, here comes Eddie Gilbert, here comes Mike Sharp. And I thought that finally I was going to get a little help out of the dressing room I because I, I saw, here comes Randy Savage yeah. and Lanny Poffo. Well, I'll just let the film speak for itself. You'll see what kind of jerks they turned out I to be. I couldn't believe it. Absolutely couldn't believe it. Let's take a look at it right now. It's all on who gets up first. The referee has already said it. Nick Bockwinkle coming up to one knee. Look at Tux Newman has got that cane. Yeah, Newman is trying to help him get up in there, and there's Bockwinkle to his feet with the help of Newman. Waller still on his knees as he comes up. Bockwinkle falls over, but the referee has warded the bout to Nick Bockwinkle as Bockwinkle was the first one on his feet with some help. Oh, what a lousy break for Lawler in there. There's supposed to be no help between falls or at any other time from any outside source on a Texas death match. The referee declaring that Bockwinkle is the winner. Calhoun, I guess, was in an advantage, or rather a disadvantageous position. He couldn't see Newman. Newman now giving him a long, sad story. I was just over in the corner. Lawler, look at Lawler. He's trying to get the, from the reaction of the crowd, they told him what was happening. Bockwinkle is the winner, though, and he retains the World Heavyweight Championship belt. Lawler now going over there to get a hold of Tux Newman. He's the one that stepped, oh, here comes Eddie Gilbert, Mike Sharp. They're jumping Lawler in the ring as Gilbert and Sharp with Newman cheerleading in there and telling him what to do, pounding away on Jerry. Gilbert and Sharp just massacring Lawler over in the corner by the ropes. And Newman standing there saying, yeah, yeah, get him. Into the ring now, Savage and Popo come in. Savage is kicking Lawler. And Popo. We thought some help was on the way, and Savage and Popo come in. Lawler slammed down by Randy Savage. Eddie, oh, this is terrible. Look at here, Eddie Gilbert holding Popo and Sharp. Savage up on that top rope, climbs down on Lawler. He just finished a Texas death match being kicked around by Gilbert and Sharp, and Popo holding on him as Randy Savage comes rolling down and nails him again. Savage completely out of his skull, and I don't expect anything else. Stan and Steve in there with Constant and Ashley, and they finally get him out of there. Boy, and it's about time. I, I, I was stunned. I could not believe Savage and Popo coming in there and not helping you out. Well, you know, I've always said that Randy Savage is not playing with a full deck. Well, I think he proved it right there. But somehow, Tux Newman got to Randy Savage, and not only to him, but as you said earlier, yeah. got to Lanny Poffo, right. and he's promised him, I don't know what, a lot of money or the world or whatever, but anyway, he's apparently got him under lock and key. Well, let me tell you something, Savage. In just a few minutes, brother, I'm going to have you in this ring right here. We don't have to wait till we get to any arena, right here in front of everybody, right here on television, and I'm going to give you the whipping of your life because it's payback time, Lance. So you just get Randy Savage, and if you want to bring Tux Newman, you get him at ringside. Let me tell you something, fat boy Newman. You're gonna... Come on, Tux! Get these guys out of here! Four of them jumping on Lawler! Come on, Lanny! Hey, Tux, get these guys out of here, will you? That is terrible! Get his eye! Get his eye! Work it out! Let's get let's get some help out here. Lawler jumped by four guys. Hey, Pluck his eye out! Pluck the eye out, Randy! Pluck it! Get oh, you are sick. I want to tell you. Get him, Eddie. Can we get some more out here? Come on, you guys. Oh, you really love a fair fight. 
He's giving you a title match in there, and you wouldn't even come out here and be man enough to take it. I tell you. Wait a minute. You be quiet. Now listen. And listen well. I feel very sorry for the king. There is your king. Yeah, you I tell you, you haven't seen it all yet. Okay, can we get somebody out here, please, to, to help Eddie with Jerry? Oh, okay, I, I tell you what. Can we get somebody out here, please? Spent all the time working on the out. Oh. Sure, he was sitting there gouging at it. Four of them. Yeah, thank you. He needs, he needs to have it with that. Jerry, that's some attention back there. Get that eye look. But that is absolutely ridiculous. So I guess you're proud of that. I'm, I'm not. I'm not proud. I, I really feel sorry for the king. I, you know, I, I really think that all the people watching have seen the last of the king. We should all, we should all just kind of bow our heads because all right, the king yeah. is dead. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. There'll be a few things that he's not through with you and you can make book of Russell, okay. you don't tell me nothing. Please take the cane and just get on out of here. You bring four guys out here. Not one of them, not one man in there had the guts to get in there with him by himself. They take four guys to come out here and jump all over him. And that's your idea of the kind of justice and all. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, oh, by the way, who is going to get into the ring and wrestle my man, Randy Savage? Lawler was supposed to get in there and wrestle him, but... Oh, come on. Get off of it. You know exactly here, why he's not here. You know why. They sit there and worked on his eye and all that. Four of them jump on top of him, and Savage sits there gouging the eye. Hey, come on, Randy. Just get in there. I... We're here. We're here. You're there. Get in the match. This is the one that's coming up here. You know Lawler's not going to be in here. You know absolutely well why he's not going to be in there. All right, Dave. Let's go ahead and introduce this. Guy. All right. This is going to be a one-fall, ten-minute time limit match from Hamden, Connecticut. Hammered by Macho Man. That's Billy Travis in there going against Savage. Savage jumps for the bell. Well, I always knew this guy was, was crazy. And uh, Tux Newman is bringing out all the animal and the worst side of it. He, he won't, he wouldn't pin him after he had jumped him before the bell, slammed him down. Then he picks him up at the two count. Takes Travis, young Billy over there, and drops him down on the top rope. Well, I don't know what this Newman has been feeding him, but... I've seen, I've seen Savage in his wild days, and he is wilder today than we've seen him. Two count again, he picked him oh, up. He won't yeah. pin. That's sickening. The referee needs to take very careful look. Stands him up on the uh, top turnbuckle. Randy Savage going with a suplex and dumped him hard down in the ring. Came right off the ropes and suplexed him in. Now Savage getting the cover. No. Picks him up again. That's a two count. Oh, a clothesline that turned him a flip. I mean, Ooh. all the way over, Dave. Randy Savage just keeps pouring it on, this young fella. You know when you climb in a ring that you can expect some rough, and once again he did rough action. 
But you don't expect to be in there with an idiot, insane man. Whoa. Good move on the referee's part. Stop now. Yeah. The referee's discretion and Travis is out of it. And he just keeps firing away. And throws him out of the ring down on the floor. Savage just running wild here. He's going up and trying to get on that rope again and jump down. They're yeah. coming in, yeah. That's Lawler. Lawler. They're trying to keep him out of here. Lawler with a bandage on his eye and the baton constant and Ashley and Dutch. And Lawler trying to fight his way loose to get at Savage. Newman thinks he's seen the last of Lawler. He's got another thing coming. Eddie Marlin coming in and hopefully getting this thing straightened out. I don't want to hear it, Randy. Baby. You get in there, what you did, yeah. that's bad. Yeah. Okay, the winner is going to be Randy Savage. Thank you, Eddie. Get that. The uh, time I... Uh, time was 2.05. Okay, it was stopped by the referee. We got plenty of action yet to go. and We're going to be back with it in just a moment. Chevy dealer. The car, the front wheel drive Chevy Cavalier. The price, 6606. When somebody else puts this much into a car, they charge more for it. Chevy Cavalier at your Memphis area Chevy dealer. Isn't it great to love a car you can afford? People don't like to waste time, nor do they like to waste money. That's why so many shop at Auto Shack. Auto Shack has major brands, all the parts you need. So instead of shopping all over the place, you shop at one place. That saves you time and money. Because Auto Shack has true discount prices with savings up to 50% on quality parts and rebuilt back with a full year guarantee. So the next time you need auto parts, think Auto Shack. It's for people who don't have time to waste money. Well, I, I, I got to tell you, it, um, there's a lot of crazy wild guys around, but of all the, the, the wildest, it's is, got to be this Savage. I really see, hate to see Newman be able to get to guys like Savage and turn him into an animal like that. That's, that's insane. That's exactly what he's done, and tucks Newman down here, smiling and enjoying the whole thing as yeah. Savage was running wild in there. Oh, boy. Okay, let's take a look at the action coming up. When? Tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock. You see that little flash? <laughs> That's Sunday, March the 17th, 4 p.m. So uh, that means you'll have a chance to see the Tigers rack up win number two. That's right. And get right to the Coliseum and not miss one single bit of the action in there. General admission prices for children 10 and under, one buck. So we'll be uh, inviting you to get your tickets today until 5 o'clock down at the Coliseum. 
You can get them at all Ticketmaster locations if that makes more sense for you to stop in there rather than drive to the Coliseum. But however you do it, friend, get them because it's going to be something else to see. Want to run very quickly in the early bouts, Jerry Oski over Jerry Bryant. It'll be JR and uh, King Harley Hogg going against the team of Steve Constant and Tim Ashley. Mark and Brad Batten, the twins, going against Exotic Adrian Street and Mr. Reckling as his partner. And then we will see the return to the Coliseum of Dirty Dutch Mantel. The tough Dutchman is going to have all he is asking for. And, brother, he will be plenty for Iron Mike Sharp. That is going to be a great pairing in a single match that you'll want to see. Dutch Mantel comes back, and his first bout here is going to be against Iron Mike Sharp. The Fab, Stan and Steve, will be going against Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert and his partner, Lanny Poppo. Well, we'll have an opportunity to see whether the fans start out to get rid of some of the stuff that Newman has collected and strewn all around here. That'll be the fans against Gilbert and Popo. And then the bout that uh, Lawler was talking about, the Southern heavyweight bout, as we tried to explain to Jerry, the reason it was not on today, it was a situation where it was scheduled for the Coliseum tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock. Newman griping about doing it here on television and all that. So it'll be Jerry Lawler going against Randy Savage in that big main event action, and brother, that is going to be something. I don't care whether long, and I'm not really sure that he'll be at 100%, but he is enough a man, and he'll be there, and he'll be ready to go against Savage. That's going to be 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. You be sure and get your tickets this very day. We're going to take time out right after we have a couple of messages. My dander shampoo is good. Maybe you should try something else. My dander shampoo really works. Maybe you should try something else, like Selsun Blue. Doctors and pharmacists recommend Selsun Blue more than all other leading brands combined. It's number one. What that means to you is no leading brand is going to dander better than Selsun Blue. Ask your doctor or pharmacist, or try it yourself. That's all the proof you'll need. Selsun Blue. It's number one. Wake up to a new day with the morning sun. Get the spirit of adventure a man should have on. Stetson Cologne, Stetson Fit. Comfortable and daring for the rugged soul. Masculine and sharing, confident and bold. Stetson Cologne, Stetson Fit. Cause there's a little bit of Stetson in every man. All right, we're going to be in the ring here in just a moment and see a very, very much improved Steve Constant, Tim Ashley. Hey, here comes the king out here right now. Jerry, uh, hey, no, come on. Now, Jerry. I know how you feel no, about it. I know. You don't know how I feel. Come here. You want to close up there? how I feel right there. Now, that, that guy trying to put my eye on Lance. Now, you get him out of here right now. Get him out of the ring right now, brother. Come on, Savage. Come on, Puffo. Come on, Gilbert. All of you, get out of here. Come on, Jerry. Now, you got a match coming up with Savage tomorrow. Let's... Hey, no, they're not coming out, Jerry. Yeah, I agree with that. Lawler's saying they'll come out here when five of them are out here. Come on, Jerry. Not, not today. Come on, now, Gee. You want to end up with some kind of permanent damage on the eye. Well, yeah. Eddie Marlin trying to get Jerry. I don't blame him for the way he felt. Four of them out here jump all over, and it took that many of them to do it. Yeah. Crowd, crowd not helping things. Who wants Savage in there? But it is not a good idea, Jerry. Please, wait. You got a match coming up with a guy tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Your eye, give it time to get healed up and all of that. Don't be running back in there. Let me tell you something, Savage. I know you can hear me, brother. You listen and you listen good. And Touch Newman, you listen too. You're going to pay for this. I swear to God you are, brother. When I get you in the ring, you can't run all night, brother. When I get you in the ring, I promise you, you're going to pay for this, Savage. You and Newman both. Okay. Jerry Lawler and I have no qualms with his feelings and emotions about what he's saying after what they did to him in there. There's absolutely no place for it and no excuse. But Newman thinks that's par for the course, apparently. We're about ready to go in the ring. 
with some more action and not with Lawler and Savage. So uh, let's bring them in here and see if we can get Tim and uh, Steve as they will be going against Mr. Wrestling and Jerry Bryant. We got parts of stools thrown everywhere. The chair fired around on the floor. And Get that cleaned up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The referee, referee quickly. Going for that. Yeah. 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 Get it out of there. All right. One fall, 10 minute time limit match coming up here. And it is going to be at a total weight of 449 pounds from Memphis, Tennessee, Jerry Bryant and his partner from Parts Unknown, Mr. Wrestling. Going against him. Total weight of 457 pounds from Louisville, Kentucky, Steve Constant and Tim Ashley. This match will be one fall, 10 minute time limit. Jerry Calhoun, the referee. Okay, we're gonna see Mr. Wrestling and Jerry Bryant going against Constant and Ashley. I'm not here to say that Constant and Ashley are there and they will be world champs next week, but they really have, have come along. What a, a fine improvement. They're both outstanding athletes. They got all the physical attributes in the world to be champions. And they start off on another peg in that ladder to the title. Well, you're right, Doug. Two or three years down the road, though, you may be looking at uh, the world championship being challenged for by these guys, Constant and Ashley. They have really come a long way in a short period of time. They're going against Mr. Wrestling in there. He's a veteran wrestler. Jerry Bryant over in his corner. Bryant, uh, a, a veteran, too. Uh, hasn't been uh, wrestling quite as long as his partner, but uh, he's been around quite a while. The forearm by Mr. Wrestling. Tim Ashley taking over to the corner. The tag made and Jerry Bryant coming in. Bryant has no hesitation about using the fist. He hits Tim right in the rib cage. Bryant off the rope, shoulder butt. Ashley down to the mat. Ashley tries to set. But didn't have time to set up. Bryant goes over him this time. Ashley was waiting for him. Picks him up again and a couple of slams. Headlock. Back to the corner of the tag made, and here's Steve Constant. Steve, oh, back on the rope, Bryant. Coming out of there after him. Bryant, a real battler. Boy, I tell you what, since he's gotten hooked up with uh, Eddie Gilbert and that bunch, he has really taken on uh, some tactics that I don't like to see, but they've been effective in matches. Constant trying to battle out of the corner. Mr. Wrestling coming in after the tag. Head into the top turnbuckle. Steve Constant in trouble here. Mr. Wrestling. Oh, reversal. Nice move by Constant. Coming out of the corner. Nice back drop and Mr. Wrestling hits the mat. There's a cover by Constant. Count is one. Yeah, it couldn't make it stick. Got a one count. Had a problem to begin with here. The left shoulder was up off the mat. Steve forced that down to the mat and was going to try to make it for the three count, but just could not do it. Mr. Wrestling back on his feet, and we're back into action. Two minutes, six seconds gone in this one. Steve Johnson coming off the ropes. Mr. Wrestling lets him go by. Steve, nice press down to the mat. Count is one. Uh, but Jerry Bryant able to get there and break it up at the one count. Everybody in there now. It's Bryant against Tim Ashley. Mr. Wrestling against Steve Constant. Jerry Calhoun, the referee in the middle as both teams are battling. All right. Referee stops the match. Double disqualification. All right. Double DQ. Match stop. Everybody in the ring battling. They're still going. Bell is sounded. Constant and Ashley have them. They run them together in the middle of the ring. Now Bryant and Mr. Wrestling roll under the ropes out of the ring. Constant and Ashley uh, still in there. They have run them out of here, but they are not going to get the victory in the match because with all four of them in there, the referee says, uh -uh, I'm not putting up with this. We're stopping it. So a double disqualification, and that one will go down just that way in the record book. That's not all. We have more matches coming up here on Championship Wrestling. The Wild Hogs going against the Batten Twins when we return. thinking about renting a TV or appliance, listen up, because I'm talking about saving you money. At Central Appliance, we carry name brand TVs, stereos, washers, dryers, refrigerators, 
all your appliance needs at rates lower than any of our competitors. Why pay more? Call us. We guarantee it. When does complete sinus relief come together? When you get maximum strength Sinutab with maximum decongestant to let you breathe again. Maximum antihistamine to dry up runny nose, watery eyes. Maximum non-aspirin pain reliever for throbbing headache. Complete sinus relief comes together in maximum strength Sinutab. You can't buy a stronger, more complete sinus remedy without a prescription. Can you guess which truck is priced lower than the top five compact pickups in America? Okay, so you needed a hint. Well, now you can get that low price Isuzu for even less. Because your Isuzu dealers are having a sale on all the 1985 trucks. And when Isuzus go on sale, with factory incentives, you better be ready to move fast. See your local Isuzu dealer for his price and terms. More biscuits. Biscuits, biscuits, biscuits. That's all I ever hear. Especially since people preferred Bojangles Big Buttermilk Biscuits over Kentucky Fried Chicken Biscuits. Almost two to one. But Bo's Cajun Fried Chicken tastes just as unbeatable. So how about more chicken? More chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. That's what I like to hear. Compare the taste and value for yourself with our two-piece chicken dinner, now especially priced at $1.99. At Bojangles, we do everything right. In the ring right now, the Hog Brothers, the Wild Hogs, and they're waiting for their opponents. Here they come right here. And this match will be one fall, 10-minute time limit, 454 pounds, the total weight from Charleston, West Virginia, Mark and Brad, the Batten Twins, and going against them. Total weight of 630 pounds from the Ozark Mountains, J.R. and King Harley, the Wild Hogs. This match is going to be one fall, 10-minute time limit. Jerry Calhoun is the referee. Okay, we're starting off with JR. JR is starting out against uh, Mark Batten, I believe it is. You gotta take more than one look in order to. You know, what a perfect uh, defining of athletic ability and speed against size in, in this match right here, Dave. Now you've got uh, two guys that weigh in at over 300 pounds in the Wild Hog. We've got uh, a couple of guys that'll weigh about 227 apiece there. They're total at 454 in the batting. But the speed could be the key here. We'll see as the match develops. I was interested in seeing a match earlier. I haven't seen that much of the Hogs. Uh, they make some good wrestling moves as opposed to some guys who are just big and you don't see any wrestling moves out of them. But these guys can wrestle. Now, that's not a wrestling move. That's a chokehold. And the referee clearly sees it. Jerry Calhoun is a little upset with some of the activity here today, and he was quickly right down there on JR and got him off the throat. King Harley Hog with a slam, marked down. Or make that Brad now, yeah. If I said Mark earlier, that is Brad in there. Oh, yeah, look at that yeah. sunset flip one. Up. JR came ripping through there, and. Uh, put the foot to him. Brad Batten trying to use uh, King Harley's weight against himself, uh, but uh, it didn't work out for the three count, but he did get it down to the mat for a brief count with the sunset flip. Pag made JR coming back in. One problem the Batten twins have had so far in the match, and they're about a minute 45 into it, and that is getting to the corner for the tag on the fresh man. They haven't been able to do that. That size of the wild hogs can keep you away from your partner in the corner, and that's what they've done so far in this match. Brad Batten down. Oh, there's that choke again. Lance said that's not a wrestling move. It's, it's a long-standing move, but it's illegal. Wild hogs were using it nonetheless. Now, that's illegal, too. Hog, uh, he just jabbed him in the throat with a point of the finger. Right straight at it. One, two, but he couldn't get the three. His determination and that athletic ability we were talking about brings him up and out of it. Oh, boy, Brad slammed down on that knee. King Harley Hog. Working on Brad Batten. Ow, got him with a big elbow. 
In the air. And down across that knee for a backbreak. I kind of won. And once again, the shoulder kicks loose. Thought he might have had him after that backbreaker. Boy, a lot of fight in, uh, in the back. There's a tag made. That's what they needed. From behind, got a knee in the kidney. Mark crumpled up on the floor after that big knee nailed him. Double whip and double clothesline. There's a cover. Yeah. Looks like they're gonna get their way in this one. The Hogs are gonna win it. Boy, the Batons had it going their way for a minute, but the Wild Hogs come back to take it. The time on it, three minutes, 35 seconds. I think you can see what happened. They had Batten over by the corner, and from outside, look at JR. Well, all right, this is where they, they fire him into the ropes, and they set him up. This is after he had been kicked in the back. And they take him down to the mat, and from there, it's a count of one, two, three that wraps it up for the Wild Hogs, King, Harley, and JR. Again, the time on it, three minutes, 35 seconds. The Wild Hogs with a victory over Mark and Brad Batten. Well, that one uh, went to the Hogs, but there will be other days and other ways, and you better believe Mark and Brad Batten are gonna be right back there. Coming in right now, Miss Linda leading the way and the exotic Adrian Street, who will, in fact, be involved in a match with Mr. Wrestling as his partner, going against the very same twins that you just saw Mark and Brad Batten tomorrow at 4 o'clock. I don't care who I wrestle. You know I'm an international star. I've, I've been champion in 37 different countries. I couldn't care less who I wrestle. And as far as I'm concerned, these twins, I can understand why they're so popular amongst these, um, amongst these uh, peasants. I mean, have you seen the way these peasants sort of carry on? Chewing tobacco, drinking beer, drinking whiskey, swearing, spitting all over the place. And some of the men are just as bad. Okay, <laughs> some of the men are just as bad. Adrian, we'll be seeing Adrian Street a little bit later in action in here. Right now, we're going to take time out and be back today for Out of Town. The more things cost, the better they are. That's not always true. Consider Barbasol. Barbasol has as thick and rich a lather as any other leading foam, so it gives you a smooth, close shave. But Barbasol can cost half as much as the higher priced foam. Maybe that's why Barbasol is America's fastest growing foam. Saving as much as a dollar on shave cream may not mean much to some people, but getting a great shave for as little as half the price obviously means something to most people. All right, let's take a look at some of the action coming up around the territory. Tonight, Lexington, Tennessee at the new high school gym. Championship Wrestling will be there with five great matches. You'll see the folks who are on that card. Friday night, the 22nd, West Memphis, Arkansas, junior high school there. Tickets are on sale right now at all school lunchrooms. Lawler will be there. Mantell, Constant and Ashley Moore. That's Friday, the 22nd, West Memphis, Arkansas. Same night in Dresden, Tennessee. At the high school, the fabulous ones are included on that card. Saturday night, the 23rd, over in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Championship Wrestling returning to the American Legion Arena with a great card over there. Sunday night, March 24th, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Jerry Lawler will top off a super night of Championship Wrestling in Cape Girardeau. That is Sunday night, the 24th. Tuesday, the 26th, Munford, Tennessee. On Thursday, March 28th, Championship Wrestling in Hayti, Missouri. On Friday, the 29th, in Terrell, Arkansas. On Friday the 29th also in Ecru, Mississippi at North Pontotoc High School. On Saturday, March 30th, Championship Wrestling will be in Paris, Tennessee at Henry County High. Friday, April 5th, Blybel, Arkansas. Saturday, April 6th in Malden, Missouri. That's the action coming up. One reminder, the Jerry Lawler Show right here on TV5, 11 o'clock tomorrow. Constant Nashley and the Dirty Dutchman included as the guest on that show. 11 o'clock, TV5 tomorrow. Okay, we've got some more action. We'll be taking a look at Coco Ware in just a moment. I used to have pigweed and fall panicum everywhere. Now I love to show off this field. I got extra tough weed power with lasso herbicide. More power than any other soybean grass herbicide for weeds like pigweed and fall panicum. And when you got the power to keep fields looking this clean, you feel mighty proud. Like to take a little walk? Come on. Lasso, 
more tough weed power to protect your yield. Over 200,000 people just like you have taken advantage of Champion TV's easy rent to own plan. Maybe because Champion gave away over $50,000 cash last year, plus thousands of dollars in merchandise. Maybe it's because Champion treats our customers right. Maybe it's because Champion has top quality products that you can rent to own hassle free. This year we'll be giving away even more money. Call Champion now and find out how you can be a part of winning the Champion way. Champion makes it easy to own. Now, darling, you have fun with your little friends. We're gonna have us a good time today. But the feeling won't last if your oil breaks down and your turbocharger goes with it. That's why we make Valvoline Turbo 5. The motor oil specially formulated to withstand the intense heat and the stress of turbos. Valvoline, because your car is special. Because you're special to me. One half of the PYT is Coco Ware. And of course, uh, a little earlier we heard that uh, the PYT coming back in for Tux Newman in here. We got a match with Coco going against Tony Hart, and no relation. And Coco at that time had a manager named Percy Pringle. Let's look at Coco Ware in action against Tony Hart. And on whips him into the ring. Uh-oh, what off guard. There's where that experience come in. And Coco Ware driving the elbow in the back. There's a neck breaker. Jack Hart is down, and that took the measure of Jack Hart right there. One of the toughest holds to take, a neck breaker. And a snap there, followed in there by Coco Ware, and he seems to be, the tide seems to be turning here just a bit. And he has an in that hold known throughout the world as the Russian sickle. Actually, it's a stretching chin lock. And I'll tell you, as we saw earlier in the program, this is a very painful hold. And that's a devastating hold to take, particularly after you have taken a neck breaker. Uh, right so now, Jack Hart is in an excruciating amount of pain. Referee Bill Alfonso asking him if he wants to quit, but I don't think Jack Hart has quit in him, Coach. No, uh, no, I don't think, well, I'll tell you, I, don't, I think 100% of the men who enter that professional ring, they have long lost the word and the meaning of the word quit. Uh, professional wrestlers generally, uh, they have to be among the toughest athletes in any competitive sport in the entire world. But I'll tell you, Coco Ware is inflicting an awful lot of damage to Jack Hart's neck and head area, Jay. And we've seen Coco Ware come back in this match, and Coco Ware and Norvell Austin PYT is number one and number two. Our wrestlers that are known to come back, that's why they're such a threat to the young blood of the United States tag team title. Coco Ware working the knee on Jack Hart's head and neck region again, Coach. Huh? And, of course, Coco Ware has exchanged the attack method. He also is attacking the head and neck of Jack Hart. And right now, he has him almost in the form of a sleeper. Uh, with a little, if he would lower the bicep a little bit, come out of the carotid artery, without going into a choke, he would have Hart in the predicament of the sleeper. A very strong, muscular arm Coco Ware. Those arms must be 19, 20 inches in there, Jay. He's got tremendous upper body strength. A little bit of hair pulling there, I think, Coach. But as we said, Coco Ware is tenacious. He'll use anything he can to take his opponent down. And right now, he knows Jack Hart came to wrestle. He wants Jack Hart to know that the next time he steps in the ring with him, he means business. Well, as we can see in the camera here, one of the foremost figures, of course, is Percy Pringle III, the boss man. And I'm, he's giving signals where he wants one hole to go. And he has got Jack Hart into an awful lot of trouble. As I said before, just the psychological advantage of having your manager out there and your tag partner is tremendous, especially on a young wrestler such as Jack Hart. However, an awful lot of sign of courage by Hart, but he was caught in the lower abdominal area there by the knee of Coco Ware and more damage inflicted. Sir. And when you take a shot like that, Coach, you're taking a whole lot of wind out of you. Top Nelson. 
Huh? Well, Portico should play the Bud Hart down on the back of his neck. Right on I hope he's not injured. Seriously. That's all over. Hart doesn't look too good right now, Coach. Oh, Okay, we're ready for ring action here live and direct from Championship Wrestling as uh, coming up our final bout, Dave. All right, and in this one, we have a uh, first look at Tall Tree. He's at 218 pounds from California. There is Tall Tree going against him from the Royal Forest of Dean at 221 pounds, the exotic Adrian Street. And his valet, Miss Linda, with him. I gotta point out, and if you can get a shot sometime, take a look at the artistic work on uh, Adrian's face. I swear to you, he, the, the guy, the guy is an artist with some of these things that he that he comes up with in there. There's no question about it. He is indeed exotic. As uh, Miss Linda gives him a hand off with the mailed robe vest, and there he is, the exotic Adrian Street, a champion in 37 countries. Is he will readily admit he is going against a very lean young man out of California, Tim Speedy Tall Trees. And the referee is trying to keep them apart until we get Linda off the ringside there. Here we go. Action. Speedy Tall Trees right there going against the exotic Adrian Street. And look at that move. What a move with that foot. But look at tall trees go. Ha ha. Now there was a perfect example of street. This guy can go. Boy, he knows his action. Speedy, we are not that familiar with. Uh, but judging from his reaction to Adrian's takedown right there, pretty quick himself. Good leg drop, takes yeah. him down. A bit of a surprise. I thought he was going to go for a step over Toho, but he didn't. He dropped down on it, put the pressure on the knee. Now he stepped Yeah, over. you heard you, Dave. Said that's yeah. a doggone good idea. <laughs> but look at this. Oh, reversal. Yep. Adrian. Getting a battle out of young uh, tall tree. Goes around, waist locks Adrian, and Adrian comes right out of it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Referee saying, calm it down, calm it down. Yeah, they had the fist doubled, and uh, referee stepped in between them. Adrian leaned out through the ropes there, kind of giving him a minute to settle down, get the hands open. Speedy Tall Tree's back to action with a headlock, but uh, Street off the ropes. Ooh. Hey, using the weight that he has, a very good advantage. Rock kick, and Adrian Street down. Side headlock. Street puts tall trees in. Oh, oh from outside. Hey. The referee didn't see it. Miss Linda reached out and tripped him, and Adrian has got himself a pin. Thanks to his uh, buddy outside the ring, as Speedy Tall Trees dumps him down, Linda jumps into the. Uh, Ring and nails Speedy in the back of the neck. Adrian Street jumps up. And he's kicking tall trees. It's all over the with him. Over. Miss Linda pulls a boot uh -oh, out of the audience into the ring. Grabbing Linda. That's Debbie Cole. Debbie, who, who uh, came in, I told, was talking to her earlier about her mother. I've known Cora for a lot of years. Debbie uh, came with the speedy tall trees, and Miss Linda was getting ready to puncture his skull with that high-heeled boot. And Debbie jumped right up in there, and she, oh, we got the ring filling up now. Yeah. The Batten, Billy Travis, Mr. Wrestling, Jerry Bryant, they're trying to pull Linda. And Debbie, look at Linda. Boy, she is going at Debbie like a crazy woman. A couple of wildcats going at each other in there. Linda had taken off the boot, and Debbie saw that happening and jumped in there and jumped uh, Linda. And boy, they have oh and what, eight of them to hold them apart. Linda and Debbie and uh, break loose. And they're not doing a very good job on it. Yeah. Thank you. 
Debbie Combs comes from a wrestling family. As I said, I've known Debbie's mother for some time and mentioned to her a little earlier when she uh, came in with uh, Speedy. And, and Linda pulls off that boot and is going to puncture his skull. Now they're pulling Linda back out of the action. They're holding Debbie down. And Eddie Marlin is coming in. He's going to see. Eddie has been very active today. Boy, Thank goodness, been busy. boy, I'll yeah. tell you. We're going to have to take a break here. As the... Uh, the action has been out of hand, and Linda once again. We thought it was all stopped. She fires back across the ring. Jumps on Debbie Cole. And now they're rolling Debbie out of the ring while the rest of them are holding Linda down. Adrian Street, what a gentleman he was. Debbie getting loose goes back after Linda. These gals are crazy at each other, going at it. As I may be presumptive to say uh, when Linda was going to nail Debbie's boyfriend, boy, she wasn't having any of that. She went in there and jumped it from behind and absolutely berserk with these two gals. Wow, Dave. They have been some kind of look at. Brian's still trying to hold uh, Linda down. And Debbie Combs trying to get around the corner. We stayed about as long as we could stay. We wanted to, uh, we got to get a break in, but oh boy, look at the look. That Debbie Combs, if look could kill, she would have that one met. And look at, she is screaming and hollering. And now they're holding her back. We are going to have to take a break. There's Miss Linda, and she is furious. Let's take a break, and we'll uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Expert tune. For starters. It's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. It's a good morning, and I just can't wait, because there's something new I just got to taste. A fresh baked biscuits calling to me, a new McDonald's biscuit, bacon, egg, and cheese. Hello there, Anne, you're looking fine, but that sizzling bacon's on my mind. Excuse me, Fred, can't stop the talk when there's fresh grade A stacked up on top of that new bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. And it's a good time for the great taste. The new taste of McDonald's. A good time to shop for a mid-sized car is just after dark, when it's still light enough to make out the shape, but not the name. Because that's about all that separates the Chevy Celebrity from a Buick Century or old Sierra, except the price. Celebrity costs $1,200 less than a Sierra and $1,300 less than a Century. Now that you've seen the light, see your Memphis area Chevy dealers. Isn't it great to love a car you can afford? Now, darling, you have fun with your little friends. We're going to have us a good time today. Room and bubbles going to blow us away. Ooh, we're delicious to do, yeah. Now it's all done a whole lot smoother. Blowing bigger. Bubble and shake. Chewing longer. Bubble and shake. Feel the flavor keep it coming on stronger. That's why you're welcome to wish. The bubble and shake. Bubble and shake. Boy, I tell wow. you, <laughs> you're talking about it. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know if we were ever going to get them. No wrath like the anger of a woman. That is for a fact. And you had two of them going at it right in there. We, we're going to take, I want to, if we, yeah, Eddie. Let me tell you something, Lance. I've had it up to here today, Wed. Savage out <laughs> here trying to take over. We had Law out here trying to take over. Yeah. We had the girl out also, Debbie Combs. So tomorrow afternoon, after all the matches is over, we're going to open the doors wide. Anybody in Memphis wants to come see it. Those two girls are going to get in the ring and settle. Oh, you're going to have a match with uh, Debbie and Linda in there? I don't know whether it'll be a match or not, but I'll just call it a cat fight. Uh, Anybody <laughs> in Memphis, the doors are wide open. They can come see it after everything. Oh, I love it, Ed. I love it. Hey, now that's my kind of promoter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's super. Boy, I'll tell you what, an added one to it. And, uh, yeah, it, 
But other thing, I don't think any of the referees here would want to get in the ring with it, so they'll be in there by themselves. No referees. Oh, Just let them have that. Oh, all right. Hey, there's a job opening. Would you like to go down the fly? No way. No, sir. That's that. We, uh, listen, can we go back and take a look at, uh, at what Debbie did uh, or, and, and what Linda did? Now, see, it was Speedy who I thought was really doing a good job with Adrian Street. Street with a little of the advantage. But he whipped him over into the ropes as uh, Speedy Tall Trees was fired into the ropes. Look at Linda right there. Reaches out, grabs a foot, dumped him right in his face. He went down, and Adrian Street, seeing it, took total advantage of it. Takes off the ropes, bounces back, covers him up. One, two, three, and that was the end of it. Now, immediately following that, Speedy jumped on Adrian, and, and ultimately Linda pulled the boot off, was going to smack old uh, Speedy right in the head with it, and Debbie said, uh-uh, oh, boy, and here she comes out of that. How about a quick recap? Uh, well, there she was. She was getting ready to... Oh, hey, come on down tomorrow. We're going to have an official match. Dave, let's run over this real All quick. All right, Mike Sharp won thing. his match over Tracy Smothers. Dutch Mantell defeated the Invader. Eddie Gilbert and Lanny Poff over Tojo and David Haskins. It was Randy Savage, Billy Travis match stopped. Constant Nashley against Mr. Wrestling and Bryant match stopped. Wild Hogs defeating the Battens, and it was Adrian Street winning with the aid of Linda over Speedy Tall Tree. Four o'clock tomorrow afternoon, Mid-South Coliseum. Plenty of action coming up there. Dutch will be going against Mike Sharp, Eddie Gilbert, and Popo against the Fabs. It'll be Savage and Lawler in that tag uh, title match, Southern Heavyweight title match, and the extra added one, Debbie will be going against Linda in there. You gotta be down to see it. We'll be looking for you next week. Till we see you at that time, Lance Russell and Dave Brown saying bye-bye, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of championship wrestling.